Keurig Model K70. I've been working on this since the end of March and today's May 16th. The issue originally was uh, airflow. The air pump was not pumping very well so I ordered a new air pump and there it is right here. The, it took five and a half weeks to arrive here from China and they sent me the wrong pump. Uh, the pump is too big but I figured it out and got it in there. Uh, when I started testing the unit, uh, it was pumping water okay, but as soon as you put a cake up in it, the air pressure would just drop right off. So today, I've ripped it apart completely, and realize here that this there's two solenoids. There's one here, I'm not sure what that one does, but there's this one here, and it controls airflow. So it ventilates the tank as uh, water is being pushed out. And it uh, well, it ventilates the tank as well when the water's being uh, pushed in from the air pump. So I took it apart and found out that when it's closed, the air is still leaking through it. So I've done a couple of tests already, and I'm going to show you what happens now uh, with a K cup in it. Uh, before it was taking like three minutes to pump a K cup. So let's see what it does now. And what I'm doing here is I've discovered that the large hose that comes off the solenoid, if you block it, as soon as the water starts to pump, it goes very quickly. So let's see how long it takes. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, we got water going in. And like I say, as soon as the pump starts, we're going to block this hose with my thumb. The air pump will start any second. Here we go. And the coffee just flies through the K-cup now with that hose plugged. So what's that telling me is that that solenoid has malfunctioned and we need another one. It was about 2.02 on the video when we started. This is a large cup. Oh, this is a very large cup. Wow. Uh oh, water's not going to stop. Oh, just in time. So that took uh, 44 seconds to do a large cup, which is awesome because uh, before, when you're trying to push water through the K-cup, it was taking like three minutes. Okay, so I have a spare uh, Keurig machine in the garage that somebody gave me. They junked it. I'm going to see if it's got a solenoid in it, the same type. If it does and it's working, I'm going to swap them out, hook the hoses back up, do another test, and video. Okay, I'm back, enjoying my coffee. I have not got the uh, spare solenoid from the other unit yet. I just wanted to verify a couple of things. I made an error in the first part of the video. So what happens here is uh, when you first uh, turn on your machine and ask for coffee, the water pump, which is down under the tank, you can't see it, but the water pump under here draws water from the reservoir and pushes it up into the hot water heater. So as the water level rises, the air has to ventilate. And the solenoid here, it opens up and allows the air out of that tank. And once the tank fills up with water, the air pump kicks in. It's your air pump down here. It kicks in, starts pushing air back into the water heater. The solenoid has to close so that the air doesn't evacuate to the atmosphere again. So it closes up, plugs up the circuit, allows full pressure into the tank, pushes water out and up through here. Now one thing that I've done initially because I thought it was acting up was I took the one-way check valve out of here. I don't believe that was a problem now and uh, what I'm going to do is when I get the solenoid from the other Keurig uh, if it's the same type, I'm going to put it in there and test it, and if it works, great. Uh, but I'm going to put the one-way check valve back in here, and we will test it out. So once all that's done, we'll do another video, and I'm going to put all three videos together. 
So here's a, uh, another dead unit somebody gave me. Um, it was plugged. I've already unplugged it. It was unplugged. It was plugged up in here. That's where the water goes into your cup. The one-way chuck valve I took out of there too. I got to put it back in. But this is a model B, as in Bob, six zero B sixty. Um, the water pump on it right here. This is the original pump that was in my unit over here, but they sent me the wrong one, as you can see. Uh, this unit also has a couple of solenoids. There's one there, and then look at this one. This one, if you can see it, it's rotted out terribly. I don't even know if it's working or not. But I'm going to pull them out and have a quick look. If they're the same as these two, I'm going to put the good one back in my K70 and see if it works, and then just order probably two solenoids and uh, replace them. Because the unit itself, once I got it unplugged, is working okay. It's not 100%. I think it's got an airflow problem too, most likely caused by here. Uh, the other thing I've been told is that this device here, uh, which uh, there is one on the K60, where, where I saw it. Anyway, it's in here as well. There's a fine mesh screen in here, so I soaked that in vinegar overnight to clean that out. So anyways, let's pull these out and see if they're the same kind. Okay, here's video number three. I've taken the uh, solenoid out of that unit. There's the old faulty one. I've soldered in the, uh, the used solenoid right there. And now we're going to do a test with just straight water. Let's see how long it takes. Oops. I started my stopwatch too early. There it goes. Started at 46 seconds. On the video. So with that new solenoid, he's filling that cup up in uh, 14 seconds. Okay. Alright, let's see how long it takes. I'm going to put a used kick up in here. Line the holes up properly. Close it. Ready to brew. I'm going to do a large cup. And we're going to go now. Pump should start any second. It's drawing water in still. Here we go. Let's see how long it takes to pump it through a K cup. Got a large brew selected. I'm using a large cup this time so I don't have an overflow problem. So it appears we're doing a lot better with that uh, used solenoid. I checked it before we did the video and it was locking up. And here we go, we're at 30, 34 seconds to do a full cup. Awesome. So that's the issue folks. If you've got an airflow problem, uh, the pump, you could replace them. They're like $12, $13 Canadian. Solenoids, I'm not sure. But I am going to have to get two new ones for this machine because I stole one from it. And you can see the rusty one there. I'm going to replace it as well. So I'll put two new solenoids in that machine. But this one here appears to be fixed. Okay, here's the last segment. I'm not going to show you uh, rebuilding it because there's enough videos out there on disassembling and reassembly. But I've got uh, both, uh, both the solenoids remounted, reinstalled. I've done a test already with water uh, and it's working fine. I've put the check valve back in. As you can see, I haven't done it up yet. i got a tie strap here, but the check valve is back in. There's a K-cup in here, and let's see how long it takes. Uh, 
looking at the timer on the video. The pump will start shortly. There we go. Let's see how long it takes to do a large cup with the check valve back in. Hopefully 40 to 45 seconds. Now she's filling up nicely. We've got good water flow. So obviously the check valve initially was not our problem. Definitely an airflow problem. New pump, new solenoid. And we're at 37 seconds. So that officially, in my opinion, is fixed. Have a nice day.